Hello children, we are going to read the lesson number 5, Understanding Time. Listen and repeat after me. Time has three parts. What has gone by is the past. What is going on now is the present what is yet to come is the future today is monday the word today shows the present time tomorrow is my birthday the word tomorrow shows the future yesterday granny told me a story the word yesterday shows the past Time can be understood using means such as calendars, school timetables, etc. Can you tell for which purposes do we use a calendar when and why do you turn the page of a calendar what do the numbers in a calendar tells us Do you know it is important to understand time for studying history? Sometimes old statues, coins, shards of pottery, etc. are found while digging the foundation of a building. These things are studied carefully. Through these studies we come to know about the period of time to which they belong. Use your brain power. Today's newspaper becomes old tomorrow, but if we cannot remember a particular fact, we search through old newspapers to find the information we need. This means that today's newspaper will tomorrow become an important 
means of getting to know history can you tell how do we measure time to understand time we divide it into seconds minutes hours day and night fortnight fortnight month year in this way time can be measured water clocks clocks and the calendar are instruments of measuring time do you know in the 14th century the our glass our glass came into use in europe it consisted it consisted of two connected glass vessels fitted in a wooden frame dry fine sand was poured into one of the vessels the connecting hole between the vessels allowed the sand in the top vessel to fall into the lower vessel the hourglass was constructed in such a way that it took 1 hour for all the sand to fall from one vessel into the other the clock was turned over as soon as all the sand had fallen into the lower vessel this is how a period of 1 hour was measured these clocks were used in india too try this stick photographs of yourself from the past and present in the frames below in the frame of the future draw a picture of what you will look like in 20 years can you tell why do we make partitions of time 
in different ways for convenience of everyday work time is divided in different ways for example while using words like now a while ago in a while or today yes yesterday and tomorrow we are unknowingly measuring time in our minds what we have learnt for convenience of day to day work time is split into parts when we use words like right now in a while or later we unknowingly measure time in our minds time is measured by using instruments such as clocks calendars and school time tables time is divided into parts such as second minute hour day and night or week fortnight month and year we get an understanding of time through historic historical buildings or old objects like coins statues or shards of shards of pottery found in an area they help us to understand the history of that place thank you